Spiritism is playing a major role in today's revival of evil. The Bible calls this necromancy and absolutely forbids any attempt to contact the dead. But we started experiencing things like I would be strangled during these seances and we would have red marks all over my neck when it was over. And also I started receiving claw marks and bite marks up and down my arms. When I found that as a joke it started, that I could make a beer bottle wiggle and stop at my command, I, I could make cars not start or start. My wife went away for three months and when she was gone, it really got very intense and very heavy. It was a day and night thing. I would come home from school, I'd pull the shades, take the phone off the hook, lock the door, put the chain on it so no one could come, so no one would know I was home. And I'd start communicating with the spirits. I'd sit down in the living room and I'd pray and I'd raise my hands to Satan and I'd pray to him and I'd thank him for what the blessings that he had for me for the rest of the day. And the holding hands part is a very dangerous part because you make yourself susceptible to the spirits coming through your mind that has been opened into your bodies and jumping from one to another. Or if someone you're sitting next to is already possessed, then you've already made it possible for that spirit to jump right into you. I heard this horrible, this hideous, this awful laughter. <laughs> We've tricked you, we're the devil, and we're gonna kill you. And with that, these forces begin to lunge upon my body. The worst part of all was, who would I tell this to? Who is going to believe this? Because I didn't even know anybody that even believed in a devil. I didn't believe in a devil. At first, when I was with Satan, I was controlling it. As I got more and more involved with Satan, he began to control me, and he began to dictate to me what to do, what not to do. And I was losing control of me to the point where I finally decided to commit suicide. One time, specifically, I tried driving into the bridge in Buckman, not too far from my home, and uh, I felt a physical force pulling me towards it and my desire was to die. At the last second, I felt a physical force pulling me away from it, and I damned God, and I hated God, and I cursed him all the way up over the ramp and all the way back into town. The biggest hold Satan still had over me was fear. Well, as I turned that over to Jesus Christ one day, miraculously, I was delivered totally of fear, and my relationship with Jesus Christ became the most important thing in my life.